Woo. We're back on the Famicom again. Oh, okay. And this this is an actual video game. Again, I, I promise. It's a real video game this time. All Night Nippo and Super Mario Brothers. All Night Japan? All Night Nippon um, is a uh, it was a radio show in Japan or uh, a late night. Um, I can't remember if it was a radio show or a TV show. I should have looked okay. this up beforehand. But it, they partnered with Nintendo and made a variant version of Super Mario Brothers at night, and with references to the show as some of the enemies. Also, this game is actually meaningfully different. In more than just uh, palette swaps. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, this is Super Mario Bros. 1, but it has the mechanics and physics of Super Mario Bros. 2. Hmm. You'll notice we've got Mario game and Luigi game. I'm going to play Luigi because we didn't... I, I didn't show off Luigi previously. Right. His so, higher jumping and all that. We'll start with Luigi. And you can see his weird high jump and he's very slidey. Also, this is another kind of, in, in, in somewhat the same vein as Versus Super Mario Brothers, this has things a little bit just shifted differently. I'm not going to be showing off the whole game mm -hmm. for this one. I am going to be just doing the warp zones to get through the end. But uh, this is just, it's different and weird and all night Nippon Super Mario Brothers. That's, that's what we've got is it, here. Is it just the Goombas that are changed? Uh, oh. well, you can see this is, um, that's, I, some kind of weird symbol that like was used in, it's similar to that, it was, it's, it's, it's not the Star of David, it's something that just looks strikingly similar to it. Hmm. I remember looking this up, again, I should have checked this before, I wasn't expecting to get to this game tonight. I thought we would be on, uh, Super Mario Brothers Special for a bit longer, I thought it would be playable. You but, thought uh, wrong! Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, it's some kind of symbol that the, the, that show popularized in some way. So, let's see. I uh, should be able to get up here pretty easily with, oh, get up in the usual spots. But yeah, Luigi can jump up very high. Makes it very easy to get to the, um... Oh, yeah, the, oh. the piranha plants are also replaced with this host. Uh... Those are the only enemy replacements. Uh, there's a few other things here and there. But, um... Yeah, there's not really much else to say. Hmm. This is just... It's a... We went through all the weird variant versions of Donkey Kong, and then weird variant versions of Mario Brothers, and now we're at the weird variant versions of Super Mario Brothers, <laughs> because that's just what they did with all of their popular video games in the 80s, I guess. Was when, when a game takes a hit, they just start releasing weird variants... Oh, and the, the flag there, that's the um, the logo of the company that produces the All Night Nippon show. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Ah. Uh, Luigi. Luigi. And you can see it's got the platforms from uh, Mario 2. Mm hmm Uh, some of the later levels are... Oh, God. It went through the vine because I was above the screen. Okay. Some of the later levels are um, from the Lost Levels. Hmm. Again, similar to how Versus was. In its, you know, variants.
Okay. Yeah. Take some loading. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I forgot to put on infinite lives, so I'm gonna drop some save states. Just so we don't have to be redoing things. But, uh... This is this. Is this. Oh, there's microphones. Yeah. Some of the, the background elements are microphones. Instead of, I guess they were... In bushes or fences. rocks. Yeah. I think this is 8-1 from Lost Levels. Hmm. I don't know, not enough camera brothers. Yeah. It's... But... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little out of practice on... Also, Luigi. That's yeah. what I'm, I'm totally going to blame everything on. I'm just going to well, that's reload fair. my save everybody, state Everybody here. blames everything on <laughs> Luigi. That's his role in life. The king of second bananas. At least in, in this stage of time. You know, in, in the modern day, he's coming to his own a lot. Coming into his own meaning he's got his own game where he's afraid all the time. Yep. I mean, the first entry in that series had him rescuing Mario. Well, I mean, he's rescued Mario before that. <laughs> uh, I that's need to in the future. Take it slow. and Yeah, let's, we, we, let's not talk about the future. Let's talk about now and how terrible I'm being. I mean, if, you, if you're sure. Ah. Uh. Okay, take it slow, don't rush, don't ruin everything. But yeah, it's it's kind of weird going through the Mario Brothers 1 stages with the Mario Brothers 2 physics. Because, you know, in addition to, well, Luigi, there's things like Koopa bouncing is a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, in Mario 1, you hop off an enemy and you go, like, a couple of centimeters up. In Mario 2, you get a significant bounce off of specifically Koopas. Other enemies give you a higher bounce than the original, but Koopas can give you a significant boost. Right. I could have cleared both of those with just the one jump with Luigi. Okay, this is good. Okay, okay, I got it. And you'll also notice that uh, they also they explicitly fixed jumping over the flagpole when you're not supposed to be able to, mm -hmm. where you just kind of uh, save state again. You just kind of clip down to the top of the flagpole. Extra life there, as usual. Okay, yeah, this this is not. <sighs> this isn't Lost Levels World Eight. This is original World Eight. At least so far. Again, I was really not expecting to be playing this game tonight. I was practiced on the mechanics of special. At least I thought I was. Oh, who am I kidding? I did not practice at all. Luigi's sliding. Go back. Save states. Saves coming. Ah. Uh. Hey. 
It, uh, there. Go away, Lakitu. No one likes you. Lakitu has never been liked. Woo! Yeah, see, look at that. The the air that you get off of Koopa bouncing if you go do it just right. Oh god, this. I don't know how this jump is going to work as Luigi. I'm just going to make a save state right here. <laughs> Seems like a good plan. Okay, there we go. The only reason I'm safe stating through this is because it's we've seen this game before several pretty times. Much. And there's there's really just like going to be one thing to show off at the very end. But no. <laughs> uh, why did I play Luigi? <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? You wanted him to show it off. Oh god, that's a charging hammer, brother. Yeah. Lost So that's physics. that is yeah, that is a thing. And actually that's something that um I saw at, as playing more of Lost Levels. Not all of the Hammer Brothers are charging Hammer Brothers. That is actually, you know, a distinction now that some Hammer Brothers have that behavior and some don't. Here, they all seem to. This is the normal stairway of 8-3. Uh, huh. I don't remember that. It might be the Versus Super Mario Brothers version of 8-3. I, I, they, they're really blurring in my mind. And this is distinctly the 8-4 uh, castle from uh, Lost Levels. Mm -hmm. I remember that drop. I think Luigi might be able to just make this jump. Nope. He hits his head. He has a harder time hooking around. I'm gonna just save here. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna save at every screen of this, because going through the whole thing is not gonna be worth the effort. I'll just save frequently, continually, all the time. I just was going to that fight. Yep. Probably easier to go down the other way. Yeah. And we have an underwater section. Hmm. And this weird hook bit. Get to the edge, wait for him to pop up. This section that killed me quite a few times going through in Lost Levels. Oh, that's a power-up in this version. That's normally poison. Yeah. So, like, yeah, they, they made some changes, so it's not quite as awful as Lost Levels. <laughs> because they didn't want to do that. They, they made that game, and they, they didn't want to do that again, I guess. They had their fun of making the players hurt. And then, yeah, there was yeah, the I weird... Yeah, I wasn't here for this. Uh, you were not here for this. For this part, where you... Have yeah, the, you, uh... you did not see me going through uh, lost levels from... Like, you, you were there for the... Like, pretty much up to this part of 8-4, and that was where I stopped... That was where I, I lost progress. This, yeah. by the way, is Bowser's brother. <laughs> you can tell because he has a blue hue rather than a green one. 
He exists only in Lost Levels. I, I, yep. I had a full discussion yep. of this uh, last time, again, when you weren't here. Mm -hmm. That, uh, yeah, you can see clearly here. <laughs> His, uh, the, the color of the shell is very different. And yeah, if you, uh, if you were to get here with fire and just take out that, and you would see it's not a fake Bowser. It is, in fact, a real Bowser. It is a real whatever dragon turtle thing species Bowser is. Koopa. He's a Koopa king. Nope. Yeah. I noticed that the hammer at the end has been replaced with the studio symbol. Yep. So... And this is the the same ending that you get from uh, Mario 2. You go to that door, and then behind it, after it loads, you get Peach. That's Peace different is outfit. paved with kingdom saved. Hurrah to Luigi, our only hero. This ends your trip of a long friendship. Luigi doesn't rhyme with hero in the way that Mario kind of does. Yeah. And... One of the other, like, major changes that they did was each of the toad retainers at the end of the castles was replaced with a caricature of some celebrity. <laughs> so it's just a variety of Japanese celebrities that were popular back in the 80s. And that's All Night Nippon Super Mario Brothers. There is another bit to it as well that, like um, Lost Levels, this has a world A through D. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to be doing them. It's the same thing. It's okay. A through D from Lost Levels. Hmm. Um, the only difference that's there is some of the palette swaps and um, A through D have a different set of four celebrities at the end of them. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's that's this. That's why I had the, the stars there, because I thought I might go through it, because you need to have beaten the game eight times right, right. To, to get to it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be skipping that. But this, this was Super Mario Bros. All Night Nippon. All right. Weird versions of Super Mario Brothers now. There's not going to be as many as there were versions of Donkey Kong. Because Donkey Kong, it wasn't really weird versions. It was just the same game on different machines. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't really have that as much. The only versions on different machines they have are the weird different versions, like special. Right. So what's next? Um. Uh, what is next? I'm going to look at the list now. All we'll right. be right back with whatever's next.